Rockstar games have had many easter eggs, mysteries, and many other strange things in their games. Some of these secrets placed in their games could take years to find or possibly even never be found. Red Dead Redemption 2 has had an enormous amount of mysteries throughout their game that could lead to something way larger that we haven't even scratched the surface of yet. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name's Chigis and today we'll be uncovering the Missing Princess Conspiracy. Now if you do go on to enjoy the video, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button for more videos like this one. With all that out of the way, let's hop right into the video. When I uploaded my Undead Zombies 2 Mysteries video last week, it got me wondering. There has to be more weird conspiracies throughout Red Dead Redemption 2. I then started scanning the internet for more and came across a very odd one by the name The Missing Princess. Now some of you have probably heard of this because it's been blowing up recently to the new findings. But in this video, I've compiled all evidence found by players of the Red Dead Redemption 2 community. Now where all of this starts is in the town of Van Horn. If you go to the saloon in Van Horn, there is a missing poster of a little girl which reads, On the 15th anniversary of the disappearance of Princess Isabeau Katharina Zinsmeister, the Grand Duchy of Luxembourg is offering a reward of $100 for her safe return to the authorities. The princess disappeared at age 5 during the royal visit to the United States in June of 1884. She has blonde hair and birthmarks on her right hand and left cheek. Now why this is strange is because nobody has actually solved this mystery and the game doesn't give a clear answer to what actually happened to her. That's where me and many others found this fascinating enough to go and try to solve what actually happened to her. The first person that could be involved in this could be the shopkeeper in Van Horn. When you walk in it seems to be like any other store in Red Dead Redemption 2, but that's not the case. If you make your way to the back of the shop, you can find a chest with the initials IKZ, which is hers, as well as the Luxembourg national symbol, which is no doubt hers. Another thing I want you to notice is the dolls that are placed around the chest, as well as the baseball and this horse looking toy underneath it. Now this shop is known to sell shady things in Red Dead Redemption 2, but could the shopkeeper actually full out kidnap her, or did someone just sell her belongings here? We aren't completely sure if he is the reason she went missing or not. All we know is that he was possibly involved with the disappearance of Isabeau. This next one could be far-fetched, but you can be the judge of it. People have a theory that the princess has been in plain sight all along and is a bartender in the Van Horn Saloon. When you compare the photo to her, the hair is the same as well as some features on the face, but there seems to be no birthmarks anywhere. I thought I would include this one because a lot of people believe it's her and in my opinion, I don't really think so, but I do like how people are trying to come up with far-fetched theories like this one because it does mean that they are trying to find the mystery of the princess. Other than the hair and some face features, some say that the necklace could be royalty jewelry, but I think it's just ordinary jewelry that you can find anywhere on women in Red Dead Redemption 2. That's about it with this one. If you head to the pig farm just south of Emerald Ranch, you can meet a brother and sister that are very odd. They will ask you to come and have a meal and a drink with them. If you accept the offer, you can go inside and get a dialogue to go check on the sister upstairs. While you are up here, there are a few strange things that you can find. If you remember from the shopkeeper, there was a small horse toy. Well, you can find the same one hidden in the corner of the upstairs. Now this could be her toy, or it could just be another toy of the same type. The most interesting thing is if you walk up to the closet that has blood coming from it, Arthur can open it. And when you do, you can see for a brief second of a skeleton and the same dolls as the ones in Van Horn. Could this be the princess? Well, after you go back downstairs and have a drink, you pass out and then they take all of your money. Once you wake up and return to the house, and legit put 150 bullets into this big guy,
You can dive over this piece of wood that's loose and find jewelry that could have been from the princess. Could these cannibals maybe have eaten Isabeau? That's for you to decide. If you go to Emerald Ranch at the times of 12 p.m. and 12 a.m., you can see a woman looking out of the window every day from the owner of Emerald Ranch's house. Some people believe this to be the missing princess because she never leaves the house as if she's being held captive by the owner of Emerald Ranch. Nobody knows why she stays there every day and never leaves. There are a few social interactions you can come across that explain a little about the girl in the window. Take a look. You know Emerald Ranch? Mind taking me there? <coughs> So, you live at Emerald Ranch then? For the time being. I was looking for work. They was looking for some help with the gardens. If I waited any longer for my husband to put food on the table, I'd have died of starvation. I'll be moving on soon, though. Emerald Ranch, well, it's a strange place. How so? The owner's a mean bastard. Strange, too. Delights in bullying folk. There's a daughter, but she never leaves the house. You can see her in the window sometimes. When I asked about her, everybody told me to leave it alone. This last theory by far has the most evidence and traction from the community. This theory is that the missing princess is actually Mary Beth from the Dutch Vanderlyn gang. Now, hear me out. Maybe the Princess of Luxembourg was going to be forced into marriage, so when she was on her visit to the United States, she ran away and eventually joined the gang to flee the princess lifestyle. As you can see, when you put these two images together, they are pretty similar, and if she was alive today, she would be 20, which is right around where Mary Beth's age is. She does have a birthmark slash beauty mark on her cheek and some marks on her hand, that could be a birthmark. Now enough with how she looks, let's talk about her books that she writes. The books seem to be written about her own life like a personal journal. The first one is called The American Wilderness. It says it's written by Mary Elizabeth Nom de Plume, but her name changes throughout the books, which makes me believe that she's intelligent at coming up with fake names which you would need if you were running away from something or someone. Well, The American Wilderness is about a French princess who runs away to America because she is being forced into marriage. In fact, almost all of her books are based around a princess fleeing to escape this lifestyle. Isn't it kind of odd of a young gang member to write about a princess fleeing to America? I sure think it does. But I want to know what you guys think in the comments down below. I'm going to be trying to hit my subscriber goal of 200 subscribers by the end of October, so we're going to be grinding out October full of Red Dead Redemption 2 content. I'll be posting more Red Dead Redemption 2 videos because they seem to do very well. So if you did go on to enjoy the video or you would like to support me on hitting my goal, please subscribe. It means a lot. But that's been the video, guys. My name's Shagis, and thank you so much for watching. See you later.